In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install IntelliJ IDEA in Windows 10 machine. Let's head over to your favorite browser. I'm in a Chrome browser and I'm going to just type IntelliJ IDEA prerequisites. So before installing IntelliJ IDEA, we need to check the prerequisites, right? Go ahead and click on the first link. It will navigate to JetBrains, uh, you know, official website. So look at here, IntelliJ IDEA is available in two editions, one is Community Edition and another is IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. So we are going to use Community Edition because it is free and open source and it provides all the basic features for JVM and Android development. And IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate is basically a commercial edition and it provides the additional tools and features for web and enterprise development. So community edition is free and open source. So we are going to use community edition and we'll install in Windows 10 and we'll create a simple Java project in order to test our IntelliJ IDEA setup on Windows 10. So here is a system requirements. So basically we need a 2 GB uh, you know, RAM. It's a minimum requirement and recommended is 8 GB and disk space uh, minimum 2.5 GB. All right. And this is a resolution. Alright guys, uh, basically uh, IntelliJ IDEA supports three operating systems like Windows, uh, Linux and Mac. So here is an important note. You do not need to install Java to run IntelliJ IDEA because NetBrains runtime is bundled with IDE. Okay. And however, to develop Java applications, a standalone JDK is required. Alright, so just take a note of it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and let's download IntelliJ IDEA from the official website and let's install on Windows 10. In a new tab, just type download and install IntelliJ and just click on the first link. It will head over to the download page. Alright, so here you can see download IntelliJ IDEA and here are the three operating systems Windows, Mac and Linux. So we are going to install IntelliJ IDEA uh, on Windows. So let's go ahead and let's click on download. Alright, so look at here. This is the features, different features supported by different editions. So we have IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and Community Edition, right? So for Ultimate Edition, uh, there are few more additional features like Spring, Java EE and other web development and enterprise development features. But it is not available for Community Edition. All right. So if you want to develop web and enterprise development projects, you can choose uh, ultimate edition and it is paid. All right. Now in this video, we are going to focus on the free and open source community edition. So go ahead and click on download. It will download this exe on your local file system. All right, guys, it's around 600 uh, MB. So let's open in a folder. Let's double click on it. Just follow the steps guys. It's very simple to install IntelliJ IDEA in Windows 10 and creating Java project in IntelliJ IDEA. And look at here, this is the installation uh, directory. You can choose the folder. I will keep default as it is. Click on next. So look at here, this is the installation options. So here you need to choose few things like uh, choose 64 bit uh, launcher and this is a update context menu choose uh, and here uh, you don't choose the associations and here we need to choose add launcher directory to the path. So it, this option required to restart the machine. So once we will install the IntelliJ IDEA in Windows 10 we will restart the machine. Okay. So don't change here, click on install and this will take a couple of uh, seconds to you know extract all the libraries and it will install IntelliJ IDEA in Windows 10 machine. Alright guys completing IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition setup and here are the two options so keep default and hit finish 
So look at here, the IntelliJ IDEA launcher is available on desktop as a shortcut. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart our machine so that uh, everything will reflect. Go ahead and restart the machine. So once we restart the machine, here you can see this is the desktop shortcut IntelliJ IDEA. So let's click on it. So this will launch a pop-up. Uh, here is JetBeans privacy policy. So accept and continue. This is a data sharing so we don't want to share the data so click on don't send all right so this is the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA as of now all right guys so here is a welcome to IntelliJ IDEA screen and here you can see uh, different options this is the new project uh, new project button so just click on it so this will launch different projects so let me show you so look at here so this will give you option to create different kind of projects like java marvin gradle java apex android etc so we are going to focus on java so let's go ahead and click on java so look at here we need to uh, choose the sdk for java we need to set up the jdk environment right so here are the couple of options uh, IntelliJ idea provides like if you have already a jdk then you can choose like this from your local system or you can also download uh, and look at here this is the download option and you can also add a jdk all right pretty simple guys JD, uh, IntelliJ idea provide different options for you so don't choose anything here uh, go ahead and click on next button and we're going to create a very simple java project so just choose this template and click on next and here we need to provide project name let's give project name as java hello app and this is the location uh, in which the project is created all right guys once you are happy with the details click finish and here we are going to create a folder right just click on create this will create a new project that is java project in intellij idea pretty simple guys so look at here uh, this is the tip of the day this is by default provided by IntelliJ IDEA just close it alright so this is a main class that is by default provided by IntelliJ IDEA and this is the project this is the default directory structure for simple Java project provided by IntelliJ IDEA here is a main class and within a main class we can see the main method let's get rid of this comment and here we're gonna just put the sys out and we'll print hello world uh, some string to the console now let's use a shortcut SOUT and hit enter so this will give you system.outprintln snippet and let, let's pass the string to system.outprintln let's give string as first java hello world app in IntelliJ something like this alright and if you do any spelling mistake then IntelliJ idea will give intelligence to detect the correct spelling it's a pretty awesome tool guys right click and run as run main to run the java program alright and let's wait here uh, let's see the console whether it is printed this string to the console or not yeah here we go the string is printed to the console it means that our job program is running and compiling successfully so here you can click on this icon to run the program so let me just uh, you know uh, change the string and let me show you from here also you can run the program click on icon this will also run your job program it's a very simple guys so let's wait and here we go all right the changed string is detected in a console all right guys i hope uh, you understood how to download and install intellij idea in windows 10 and how to create a simple java project in intellij idea thank you